All right, and you'll never guess who we got here. It's the Pratt Family Homestead. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <All right. laughs> All right, so uh, thanks first. Thanks for talking. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> really appreciate that. Uh, we, my wife and I we like to watch your all's channel, and like it's, like I was telling you earlier, I really really appreciate your humor about things. I, I think it's the thing. So I'll, is Jenny. Jenny really. Oh yeah, that's, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes isn't she the object of your humor? Sometimes. <laughs> but not in a mean way. No, no, no always no. in a loving way, and, yeah. and that's that's just fine, and that's why I appreciate it. Uh, so I just want to uh, ask a few questions. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, so how do you think the conference is going so far? Oh, it's, I think it's going awesome. Oh, yeah. We love coming to these things. Yes. We, just talking with everybody. You know, you make it like three feet, and then you get somebody else to talk to. It's, it's great. Yeah, we, it. we always say, if you're, and this conference is fantastic, but we always say if, if there's a conference, if there's a meetup, if there's something, you need to go attend it. Because just being around like-minded people all the time is fantastic. It is. All right. Yeah, I actually went outside and we I saw some uh, blacksmiths out there. Yes. Uh, that was really nice. Uh, some reenactors out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was really nice. Had some tents up and everything. Uh, the live animals they had in the have in the arena. I mean, this conference has just got so much going for it. I went right over those pigs. You know, I had those. <laughs> <out of pigs. laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's, that's really really encouraging. Uh, so, uh, also, I want to ask about the Hoot Nanny mm -hmm. that's coming up in July. July, July 27th. Yeah. Yep. Right. Uh, July 27th, uh, Somerset Beach Campground. Um, it's our third annual Pratt Family Homestead's Hoot Nanny. Yep. And uh, you can come camp the weekend or attend the event on Saturday at noon. And uh, we're going to have working some demonstrators, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> a little demonstration. So my wife is going to be a demonstrator at the Hoot and Nanny this year. And what are you going to be demonstrating, honey? How to make toothbrush rugs. Okay, so you'll be giving a toothbrush rug demonstration. Yep. And there is an example. Well, this one's a heart rug. This one's a little more harder to do, but I will be doing uh, the, the beginners. I can do the easier ones. Sounds interesting. <laughs> um... Uh, we've already got four or five demonstrators now, and yeah. um, it's not really conference; it's a potluck. It's everybody. It's every, if you're together. if you're able to, it's just a pot. Bring some food and sit around. If you can't bring food, don't worry. Come eat food. <laughs> There'll be a lot of food. Homesteader, not homesteader. You're more than welcome to come hang out and talk with us and eat food. All right, and bring the whole family. It's definitely a family event. It definitely is. All right, so it's going to be really, really fun. And, uh, and I just want to kind of cheat a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is uh, You're going to be speaking about raising meat on the homestead. Yes. And I just want to cheat a little bit. Uh, what would you think would be the number one good tip, the number one good tip that you'd give about raising meat on the homestead? What would you think that would be? Ooh. Go ahead. I would say do your research, not Ooh. just... On you know, you know, yeah. opposites track. Right? I thought that right. I'll right. let her talk first. Um, <laughs> not just on like the animal you're getting, but the variety of breeds. Your zoning to make sure you're allowed to have that animal. Um, plan out like what you're going to do with that animal to make sure it is fitting for you. Definitely do your research. Don't just buy it. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Just do it. But no, that might not be the right. Answer. Don't just buy it. Just jump in with both she's, feet. Well, That's she's right. Once once you do your research and you you know an animal that you want and you know your zoning will allow it and you know all this good stuff, then just do it. Then just um, do it. Yeah. Um, whether it's chicken, pig, go, whatever. I mean, but whatever you might want to do. Yeah. Right. I think their number two would be like you, you need pigs. Yeah. <laughs> you need pigs. pigs. Everybody needs All pigs. All right, pigs. All right, so basically what we got is planning is good, uh, but don't plan yourself into oblivion. At some point, you just got to do it and jump in and get the experience. And uh, it doesn't have to be perfect the first time around. You're going to make mistakes, uh, but that is where uh, you learn. That's where you invent new things that maybe you can originate new things is necessity. And you fail, you get back up, and then you learn from it. So I, I totally agree. Yeah, I, I'm, that's how I am. I'm two feet in and then start <laughs> learning. But I have also planned myself into that box before. A lot of times, just too much planning, too much thinking yes. about it, too much whatever. Yes. 
And sometimes, sometimes you just got to stop doing that and just go do it. Well, if you ask me, I think you all got a good balance going on. Thanks. So it's working. And uh, we just want to encourage everyone out there. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It was good talking to you. Well, I think we're ready. And with that, here's Jenny. <laughs> thank you. For those of you that don't know us, we are Pratt Family Homestead. I'm Jenny. This is Mike, TJ, Faith, Andrew, and Grace. <laughs> Turn to say hi. Wave. <laughs> Um, So we are going to talk about raising meats on the homestead. This is just our experience as they all run in front of the screen. And um, this is what we've raised, what we've harvested on our homestead from nature, um, what we're hoping or what we have that still needs to be harvested. Okay, yeah, TJ, if you want to. Yeah, if you don't know us, we're Pratt Family Homestead on YouTube. Keep going, TJ. Instagram, we love Instagram. If you're on Instagram, please come find us. Uh, Facebook, our uh, page, and our group, the Pratt Pack. We have a lot of fun in there. And uh, stuff posted to Twitter. We're not really active on there, though. <laughs> but, uh, we're coming to visit Oh, you are? Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I used to be a clown. My clown name was Jelly Bean. Yeah, I like that name too. And so I used to do balloon animals all the time. I could make, um, yeah, I can do a dog with big floppy ears and a big nose. She can make a horse. I can make a horse. I could do a really cool snake. Ooh, Ooh, it's just a snake. Uh, Yeah, I have a snake. Okay, wait, hold on. Now don't stretch it because it weakens it. You can take your pillow, but don't stretch on it. Okay. Oh, you can stop eating while everybody's eating. Uh, it's got to be. Oh, my God. I can tie that back. You've got to. She's done that for a long time. Yeah. 